Okay, so in this video, getting started with how we can create instant deals and what are the parameters that we can use. So in this video, we'll just be covering it in stream. When you come to the dashboard, so you need to navigate to inventory and inside inventory, you need to go to marketplace. So I'm currently on the marketplace page. Here, clicking on new instant deals. So in new instant deal, obviously we need YouTube deal. So okay, on this page, we'll be keeping the deal name as test. Advertiser will be by default selected. Uh, and in the campaign, we need to select an active campaign uh, that you have already created. Just select any of the campaigns in which you want to create this deal. Then the commitment would be guaranteed as it uh, serves similar to a PG deal, but uh, that is a guaranteed where the CPM would be fixed. Coming to ad format, as we are just doing in stream ads in the current video, so we'll go with the in stream ads. Okay, so one selecting in stream ads, so a policy restrictions uh, you'll get if you want to select like gaming related, alcohol related, or politics related. If your ad falls into any of these categories, so that would be a different uh, setup for that because that uh, exactly not serves that kind of audiences coming to location so this is similar to any other setup that you will do you will just uh, for reference i'll take united states complete country i'm taking okay degrees are already there so inventory so what kind of inventory are looking to target just youtube google tv google tv are the, all the android tv which have an interface of google tv which is the group of all the apps showing all the series and on a top page so that is Google TV and then we have partner videos. So all of the websites which are on to GD and that is Google Display Network and they are monetizing their inventory via Google Display Network. So if you don't want to, you can exclude both of these and that should be fine based on targeting. Then we have keyword exclusion. So if you have a keyword list like negative keywords, you don't want to target on a particular keyword, then you can select the keyword exclusion and get the keywords for languages. If it is uh, you want to target people who interact on internet using English, so just go with English. Then we have category exclusion, so that is already implemented. So that is because that is limited here. These are limited onto this. Then inventory sources that we have already discussed and uh, made the changes. Geo is already added. Then coming to date and time. So date and time is kind of a departing that is available so either you can all use all days by default is all days and all time but if you can use all days and if you want to avoid say uh, you don't want to show your ad at after 9 pm so you can simply change it to 9 pm ending so your ad ends at 9 pm daily and if and if you want to start at like say 7 am in the morning that is also fine so that likewise can make for all these also you can add multiple segments say on monday you want to also show your ad starting from 2 a.m to 3 a.m so that would create a different segment here you'll be able to view it okay yeah after this devices so on devices you can select by default all of them selected but you can exclude either you don't want to show on computer smartphone tablets or connected tvs in addition setting that would be device specific you want to show on android blackberry ios windows so or even very specific mobile models you want to show on the latest android this model or any iphone or you just want to show on all the iphones or 11 so basically all the options are available here Then you have flight dates. So for what uh, particular date that inventory you are looking forward to? Let's say I just take it as 20th to 22nd, just for reference. Doing a budget of 500 limited to, say I set a frequency of five per week. Floodlight you can select based on what floodlight, maybe page view, add to cart, or complete purchase, lead submitted, lead form submission, 
cart, anything like that, that you can add if you want to optimize or see the result based on that. Okay. Coming to add group, so in add group, by default name is coming up there. So what format you need to select? So if you're going with skippable ads, so that is fine. Then you don't have a particular limit on the size of video. Then you have bumper ads that would be six seconds or less that would be specifically non skip button ads where you will not find any skip button or there is an option because that is very small size then you have non skippable ads which are 15 seconds or less so they are at a higher cpm always because they're non skip and no ad then you have non skippable that are 30 seconds or less so 30 seconds then you have non skippable so all of these are same just the cpm price would vary the longer the ad, the higher the CPM would be there. So I'll, for reference, I'll just select non-skippable 15 seconds. Ad group targeting. So ad group targeting, here you can select what kind of placement category. So placement is any YouTube channel that you are look, looking forward to. You can just put in the YouTube channel name here. Or any particular video that you want to target and show ad. Or any kind of lineup setups what on the Google partner or all of that you can select as, as I select the country as uh, United States here you can select you can show, want to show on entertainment music or football Gen Z music video gaming anything that you think is viable for the campaign then you have categories so all of the categories like entertainment auto beauty so the basic Google categories that are available in Google ads are similar to those. Then you can do the similar exclusion as well. If you want to just exclude on a particular placement, that is also possible. Then same with categories and keywords. Then you have position. So any position or first position. So when a video is playing, if you want to just show you ad to be the very first ad of that particular video, then it would be first position otherwise any position that would take automatically then demographics so male female what is your target parental status household income then we have audience list if you have first party audiences in there that can be targeted if you have any kind of exclusion that can be targeted so these are the basic of the videos that would be targeted here then coming to create ad so on the create ad button creating video like we need to put in the ad name then select any of the videos from youtube that are already uploaded to run the ad and then if you want to use an, any companion error so that would be there otherwise you can simply add the headlines and make it here you can see the preview what headline you want to put in, what is the CTA, like shop now, website, like any other, like learn more. And then you can have an option to click on show up. I'll just put it test shop now, then add a QR code. So the QR code will show up on the TV. Google TV will not be visible. Okay, oh, sorry. Yeah. So this is the QR code that would be visible there. Then if you have a CM360 placement ID to track, then you can put in the placement ID, display URL here, and the landing page URL. That's it in the video. So you can add multiple videos here. Yeah. And then come into any third party utility partner that can be double verify that is integrated to your TV and similar to that any brand safety that you're using maybe double verify or any other that is integrated to your TSP. So that is the basic of it. Now coming to next screen where we'll go with get code. Okay. So on to the when we get to go to get code. So we got a fixed CPM, estimated impressions, potential billing cost, your budget so basically when uh, so if you put in the budget so it will coming up as 518 dollars as total so that takes up some platform fee out there so if you are doing budgeting for your campaign and your budget is 500 dollars so it's better to 
make a calculation beforehand and uh, use that there. So what you can simply do is divide 500 with 500 to 100% budget. So you need to get the 99.6% of it that needs to be entered. Okay. This is a deal date. And if you want your deal to be directly activated, you can simply activate it. Else what you can do is you can simply hold the code for 72 hours. And if you want to get it approved or get it reviewed before you start it. Because once you accept and reserve the code, the campaign will start delivering and you will not have any option to pause it because and this budget is a potential that would be spent. So you can simply hold the code for a longer period and decide upon that. So that is the basic setup. This. That's it. In the next video, we'll cover up masthead now.